you think Love's Travel Stop is just a gas station, well, you are sadly mistaken. With close to now 700 locations in 42 states, this family-owned company that employs more than 38,000 employees, Love's Travel Stops is the nation's leading travel stop network, giving you a place to refuel and service your vehicle, a place for you and your family to eat, a place to sleep at their franchised hotel network, a place to even store your personal items at their storage facilities. And now, if that's not enough, more exciting things for all of you traveling on your own life's journeys in an RV. It is time for another Launching Life's Journeys podcast. This power podcast is powered by Heartland RV. I am your host, Will Miller, and my guest today is a big one. Mr. Jim Wheeler, Director of Hospitality and RV Operations. He oversees the development, strategic growth, planning, and operations for hotels and RVs. Jim began his Love's career in 2015 and took on the RV operations in 2021. Prior to joining the company, he was the Senior Vice President of Operations with Prism Hotels and Vice President of Operations for Southern Hospitality. Jim has a hotel restaurant administration degree from Washington State University, go Cougs. He's a board member for the Oklahoma Hotel and Lodging Association, and he's served on boards for the Sacramento CVB, Sacramento Hotel Association, and Volunteer Center of Sacramento. Jim and his wife, Brenda, have a beautiful daughter, Jesse, and a wonderful son, Jack. Jim, welcome to the Launching Life's Journeys podcast. Well, well, well thank you, William. And, and hey, I, I'm excited to be here today. So th thanks for having me on. I, I, I really do want to share uh, all about loves and how we can accommodate uh, RV customers. And, and uh, I think your listening audience is going to be a great opportunity for me to do that. So thank you. Well, uh, and I appreciate you taking some time because I know you're very busy doing a lot of big things for thousands of families across North America. And we're going to get into that as we talked offline. I received a very nice press release about some of your efforts that you've been making, and it got me excited, and that's why we're here today. So before we get into that, though, for all of our listeners, how about you give everyone a little bit of history about Loves from when they started to where you are today? Yes. Um, you know, really, it's a great story. Um, you know, our, our, uh, the, the, the owner the, the, uh, who started this, Tom Love, uh, just an amazing in, in individual who I just have the utmost respect at, uh, for. Um, but, uh, you know, he started this all in uh, Watonga, Oklahoma, and it was a gas station uh, that he purchased. And uh, this was back in 1964. Uh, and, and really what he ultimately did is he took that one gas station and then he kind of had this idea of, Hey, in in this town, it would be great. I could, you know, also, you know, uh, have a country store and be able to sell food and other items. And so, uh, he really took that model and and started to grow with it. And so, uh, you know, and and one of the big transitions of the company was really uh, the travel stop aspect of it. So the first one of those was in Amarillo, Texas. And uh, I think once he did, uh, once we built that first travel stop, uh, Tom was just, hey, this is really where the future is. And that's kind of the direction that this has really taken off. But uh, uh, yeah, today we have, you know, co you know, coming in on 700 locations, uh, over 600 uh, currently open, and uh, we're, we're growing all the time. So um uh yeah it's it's just really kind of an exciting and i know we want to get you know the rv customer has always been really a very um important customer of ours we have you know just in you're at our 600 locations you know we're in 42 states conveniently right off the highways we have fuel diesel gas um, you're right. We have the stores that have all the supplies that they would need. Uh, you know, we're closing in on a thousand quick serve restaurants at our 600 plus locations. So we have restaurant. Uh, new initiative out there is our fresh food and deli initiative. And so which is becoming very popular. So if you want, you know, it, people that are more uh, want to eat healthy, we've got fresh salads, wraps, sandwiches. We do. Uh, breakfast burritos, breakfast tacos in the morning, 
there. So sandwiches, a lot, a lot of those type of uh, items. But we have laundry. Uh, you want to get laundry done? We have showers at all of our locations, or or the majority of our locations. Uh, showers and laundry, uh, propane. Uh, we also have communal dumps. Uh, so if if you need to uh, utilize a communal dump, the majority of our locations also have. So you know, we, we RV customer is a great customer for us. That's awesome. Right, and sure. you know, one of the one of the comments that I always make is, you know, when I'm looking at a company that's doing amazing things like what you guys are doing, I think about the end customer. And, you know, I said in the intro and I said offline to you, I think one of the things that I've immediately recognized in just kind of your history of, of work and performance, success always leaves clues. And it seems to me that what's been consistent is you've always had that vision to look at the customer and think about, hey, how can we as an organization remove the friction that they have in what they're doing? And then how can you add value? And I, like I said, I just, you know, when I met Brett, I was so overwhelmed because I'm like, you guys are leading it, um, you know, in so many ways to the same customer base that, you know, we're fortunate to serve as well. One of the things I always talk about is what's the value of every RVer putting loves into their GPS? And you've kind of hit on, obviously, uh, you know, you've got all these restaurants and things. Can you just talk about you know, some of the added things, or maybe in 2021, when you took over the RVs, what was it that you recognized that said, hey, we're we're everything for everybody that's in a vehicle traveling wherever their destinations take them, but we have more opportunity to invest and support those families that are traveling with RVs. Can you just kind of talk to what you recognize that we talked about offline that with the influx of the last two years, as we broke record sales, not just Thor Industries, Winnebago, Forest River, all of us, people were limited on where to go. So did you kind of see that? And is that, what, is that what's led to, you know, investing in, into so much to offer to so many families on uh, for RVs? Uh, yeah, no, that that has uh, definitely been part of it is to to see, uh, you know, how much the RV business is growing out there and vehicle purchases, RV purchases, everything. It's it's definitely a uh, a growing uh, market segment uh, that that's out there. But I think, you know, and, and when I think about, like you say, hey, why do we want to have loves in our GPS? And I'll give you, you know, a, a few uh, great, great reasons why I think and things that we hear from our RV customers. Number one, it will it convenience. Yeah. We're we're very con we're right off the interstate. People want to get off, get back on, you know. And we do design. We keep in mind we have we we've really grown organically. We organically we mostly new builds. We're putting in RV lanes uh, wow. out there to make it easier. So you know we understand turn radiuses. You know the commercial drivers, the trucks. So right. you know we we do keep that in mind as as we uh, design these locations. But uh, you know we we definitely in this RV. What we're hearing from our customers is, hey, how convenient we are. How it's great uh, to be able to get right right off the road and and back on on again. Um, and I'm going to tell you, there's kind of an exciting new initiative that it, I can talk a little bit about, too, why I think you should be uh, have us in your GPS. And not only that, I think you should download our the, the Loves app uh, out there because we have started to provide a 10 cent per gallon fuel discount uh, on the uh, automobile side of our business, not the commercial side, but for gas and for diesel. Uh, so 10 cents off a gallon, you're going to uh, uh, save some money. Now, that promotion is running through May 31st, and it's it's in, I think, 40 of our 42 states. There's a couple of states that were still, there's some uh, regulations that kind of uh, sure. prohibit us from doing that. But um, And you basically download the app. It's going to tell you about that 10 cent discount. You can put it, you get a QR code and put it on in the wallet of your smartphone when you pull up. It's just that easy, and and you're gonna gonna save some some money at at, at the pumps there. So uh, that is, yeah, that's amazing. Now, and and to talk a little bit about um, you know now really the the you know part of the re you know, the main reason why we're on today too is to tell you a little bit about our overnight accommodations uh, yes. for uh, for RVs. And and you're right, we started this in in July of uh, really 2021 in Guthrie, Oklahoma. So it was close to our uh, our corporate office here. 
and uh, you know it's it has uh, ten uh, parking spots there, spaces there uh, that somebody can can utilize and stay for a night or a week or you know it, and uh, uh, so that was the first one, and then at the end of that, by the end of the year, we had six of those open, and and I'm going to explain a little bit about. Um, you know, is we've got RV hookups and then we have RV stops. And okay. so we did a little different model numbers. So predominantly of what we have open today, which in today, so we have 30 locations total open uh, okay. today. And uh, we, uh, with over uh, c- coming in on 400 uh, uh, parking spaces at those. But the wow. smaller the hookups, Ah, uh, they're going to be anywhere from say five to fifteen parking spaces. Sometimes they go higher. We have a, one that's as as many as twenty five, but predominantly they're right there at the travel stop. Um, I think you you mentioned the automation, and so the way that we've designed this system is, and 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 we do work with uh, uh, the Camp Life Reservation System. But if okay. you go on our app, again, a great reason to download the app. And uh, you can go reserve a, a, a stay right off of the app. Now, you can either book that a year in advance or you could book it the same day. You could come on site, make that. So uh, within the app, it, it does a redirect to Camp Life. Or if you go to lovesrvstops.com, you'll see our whole offering on there as well, all the locations that are open, and it'll do let you uh, uh, book a, a reservation. So you know, it's all automated. You can do it from your smartphone, from your computer. Hey, even if you pull up and you pull into a pedestal, you can, uh, there's a QR code. You can take your your smartphone and with the camera, it'll pull it to walk you right through the reservation. It'll let you know if that's available or if there's another side location that's available. So, you know, everything is automated. Now, once you do arrive um, and you receive, you'll receive a text message the day of arrival. Okay. Uh, that'll remind you. And then uh, you also receive an email. And from that email, you just kind of click into it and say, check in. And once you check in, it, uh, it'll it turn on your utilities for us, for you. Wow. And so most of, you know, most of our locations are full hookups. So we'll have the 3050 amp, we'll have the dump, you know, we'll have the water. Now, some locations may not have a dump, a dedicated dump to that space, but we'll have a communal dump at the travel stop. So you'll still be able to use that. We also have water available at the at the travel stop, but uh, we're always going to have that 30, 50 amp power at uh, uh, all those locations. But that's the initial RV hookups. The, now what's kind of the exciting part of it is we're getting into some of the bigger locations. Um, and we call model two or a model one. And we opened our first model two in June of this year in Cordell, Georgia. Okay. And, uh, you know, at that location, it, it has 42 parking spaces. Um, and then there's going to be a, um, a, a, a building on site. Uh, they, and so within that building, we'll have restrooms and showers. We'll have laundry facilities right there. So you don't have to go to the travel. You'll have its own dedicated building. At the hookups, you can use the amenities at the at the travel stop. But these M2s and the M1s have the dedicated building. Uh, it'll also have labor on site. So we'll typically, based on occupancy, have somebody there, say, anywhere from 8 to 16 hours a day. Um, at that location. Um, but it will have things like, you know, we, we really even at our M3 locations, we try to put in picnic tables at larger locations. We'll put in what pavilions, 20 by 20 pavilions, uh, where we'll have a gas grill that somebody could utilize. But, you know, we know picnic tables are important, but at these, you know, in larger locations on the back ends, typically we'll actually put in a fire ring um there wow. too so it'll have a dedicated fire ring and in, in cordial we have a splash pad but you know we may have try to have something for the kids it could usually just going to be a a, a kid's kind of park there with some uh, uh, uh items for them to play on uh but you know we've got pickleball uh basketball so we got the pickleball basketball <laughs> there uh, for them to utilize and uh you know is a communal fire pit because we know the rv community likes to get together so we put a communal uh, fire pit where they can get gather around uh, in a communal area but we've got picnic areas and tables and 
And so, uh, you know, and, and, and in the office area there, you know, they'll have some things that for rental, like a, a, a paddle uh, uh, for pickleball for playing that. And, you know, we'll always have cornhole and different games like that to try to, you know, really uh, reach out to the community there. So now the M1, just quick, it, the biggest difference when we get our bigger models, now we have one that's going to be as large as 125 spaces at an M1. So we're just getting bigger. Uh, and then we're also uh, at an M1. It's a little different building where you go inside. There's a retail store. So, you know, we have the store at the travel stop at these larger locations. So we'll have food and uh, supplies uh, that the RVer will need. And, you know, again, we'll, you'll be able to access showers and restrooms and laundry facilities um, uh, within that. So, and it'll have the same kind of amenities we talked about, uh, out there at an M2 location, but it'll be a bit of a bigger building and a little, little more labor support, uh, at those larger facilities. So, so two things are clear to me. <laughs> One, you've set a very high benchmark and two, you've humbled me because we were feeling really good. You know, we were one of the first to invest in technology to utilize post sale for a better ownership experience. Um, you know, and as I've said, success leaves clues. You think about the capability of what technology can do, right? I mean, when I started my career, I'm young, I'm 40, 40 going to be 42, but I've seen a lot too over the last 15 years. And, um, you know, you just, you kind of wonder, say, well, what is the limit? So like with us, our owner's app, it's free to download on the app store and Google play. And I'm sure just like yours, what we really wanted to focus on was what was the information that people need to have when they're traveling in their RV with their family. So they need to know their warranty information. So they have their VIN number registered. They can track their monitor, their warranty throughout the year. They can track and monitor parts. So if something happens, if they're arriving to a said loves location, um, they could, you know, have their shipment be somewhere in close proximity. So again, keeping them on the road, because the one big heartburn that I ask customers of how do we need to get better? We have to be faster at response and service so they can get back to enjoying the big investment they made with their family. Um, with the influx of the last two years, obviously that made it a little bit difficult for two reasons. There was a shortage of places for them to go. And there was also a little bit of a shortage on service. So there was some delays there. So that's why we were really proud to say, hey, this technology that we are embracing and we're learning how to utilize and add more value to our customers. Well, you made me feel that big because everything that your <laughs> app is doing, we've got a lot more work to do. So just to kind of give again, the listeners a recap, they can have full automation and booking on the app. You're giving them through May 31st, 10 cents off a gallon, hint, hint, every one of you download it now. Um, you know, obviously you, you had mentioned uh, convenience. I have to believe that you have some kind of a GPS where they can search by location as they're traveling to a given spot. So is there any other uh, things that are on the app that we just want to let people know again, what they're going to be able to see? Is there uh, news updates? So if you're breaking ground on another location, will they be able to see the news of what's going on with Love's? Yeah, you know, it, it really has all that in your right, and especially the GPS. So if you're traveling down the road, it's going to tell you where the locations are and, and uh, what's going to be on, on your way. Um, uh, but yeah, it'll tell you everything about that travel stop, what the restaurant is there. It's going to tell you it has showers and laundry and uh, the, dip, the, the communal dump, the propane, you know, wow. everything that that particular location is, is going to have. And, and you're right, if it has, and like I said, some of our locations will have hotels. Uh, it'll also, if, if we do happen to have uh, one of our hotels uh, adjacent to that area, it'll tell you about that. But certainly, yeah, again, it's going to give you that ability to tell you every place. Now, and, and keep in mind, too, we kind of talked about this is what's what's fun right now is so we have 30 locations open with with coming up on 400 spaces. <laughs> well, we have 30 spa additional ones on our construction schedule. 20 for sure will open this year. And I think the majority of those 30, but now we're getting into the bigger ones, those model ones and those model two. So we're going to go to nearly 400 to 13 to 1500. We're going to more than quadruple the number of spaces out there. And, you know, right now our real estate team is not stopped. They're continuing to kind of fill this, this in. And so currently we're actually in the 30, we're in 19 states. 
but uh, we figure we will be in 27 states just by the end of this year with all the, 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 uh, those parking spaces that are available. And you can book a reservation, I think it's up, up to a year year in advance. But wow. yeah, that app, and again, that gas discount is great, you know, and hopefully we, first time, I think we've really started to do that. And, and I think you'll see those kind of offerings more. It could be extended, it could be seasonal, it could be a different rate that's being offered. Um, out there, but um, yeah, the, the, that's really uh, uh, a, you know great reason. I know personally, I I, I, <laughs> I like taking advantage of that discount. Absolutely, and you know the other thing that we didn't hint on because you're very humble is this is what what blew me away when I when I got the press release. Now again, I am saying this <laughs> so nobody misunderstands. The average cost of a regular back end site it is going to vary. However. The fact that your average is only $36.70 per night is crazy. Um, crazy in the best way. Because when you think about, again, you are, when you go to a campground, you're usually driving miles off the highway. Then you got to wait for a check in. Then you get there. And then what do we always hear? Hey, hon, stay here with the kids. I got to go get ice. I'll be back in the town. I got to, you guys are literally creating an environment where the family doesn't have to leave each other. You know, I mean, it, it it truly is remarkable what you guys are doing. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. It's and and it, having you're right. this, and having the website and the technology do what it does in real time. Again, removing friction. I just I really applaud everything that you've done so fast since 2001. And I think you know it is a little bittersweet, as you said. You know, Tom Love. Um, unfortunately, he he passed this year. But what better way to honor him than continue his vision? Uh, with which is exactly what you guys are doing here in North America. I do want to just ask you one thing. Um, as I tell everybody, download the app now, please. Also, you can go to loves.com for more information, including the app. And again, everything that I outlined from the hotel stays to their storage to their 700 plus locations. A lot of information is on their website, and I'm sure they're on all the social platforms as well. Jim, looking ahead with all the exciting things that you're doing, I just want to kind of, you know, tailor our end here with this. I know what motivates you. You know, you 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 want to give everybody a great experience when they're traveling. How have you or what are you looking at the next 12 months um, in terms of gathering that information of the voice of the customer for you to continue making the decisions that you are? Are you do you guys, you know, um, you know, do you put uh you know surveys out do you do you travel quite a bit can you just kind of speak to you know what your goal is and, and continuing to listen to the voice of the customer as you guys move forward yeah no no uh great question and uh yeah you know social media is obviously great you know rv yeah. live yelp yeah. google uh compendium uh you know they you know and and i'll tell you so we we do pay very close attention to those those comments that customers and we are making improvement and i'll tell you we made a few mistakes in our early one so sometimes somebody might say oh you didn't get that dump down load yeah. <laughs> you know is, is there's a couple of things or oh we want wider spaces and and you know we're listening and we're doing those things so we've really kind of is is, is learned a lot from what the customer is saying um but you know overwhelming you know really the comment we hear is is too. And I'll say one thing too, kind of, is, is everybody loves the dog parks, right? Most of our loves also have dog parks. But, you know, some of these M2 and M1s will have their own dedicated do dog parks out there. But that's kind of our number one comment. It's fun, is people comment about their, the, do the dog parks out there uh, on these sites. But everybody, we try to capture when you go online, it'll ask you to put in your email address and you will, you know, to get that check in e email too. It's kind of yep. needed. Uh, and so we will send every uh, customer that stays with us a survey and it really is great. And so we're getting all these surveys back and we've compiled some great uh, for me being an operations guy. I mean, I look at those very closely and, uh, you know, we're, we're reading every one of them. But, you know, again, I think the overwhelming uh, feedback is, you know, we hear a lot is, hey, build some more. We wish you had <laughs> yeah. more of these, you know, it's kind of, you know, so it has been, you know, we do, hey, we have issues, we have mistakes, you know, and again, you talked about the automation, you know, but one thing we, we can do too with our pedestals is we can monitor those, monitor those 
And when one goes offline, it sends an email out to our uh, our service crew. So and and you know we've had a few issues beginning with, but I'll tell you our uptime is fantastic. So we're also looking at that. So we're making sure that hey everything's working as attended. And you know we'll have some issues. We've had some you know frozen pipes in the north and <laughs> you know things will will sure. happen as as RVers know. But uh, you know it is is for the for the most part yeah that voice of the customer though is is right. It, it, well. Uh, and the other thing that as I was gathering some information, you know, in advance of this interview, the one thing that I kept continuously hearing, and I think it's, again, something that many times we assume, and obviously your years in hospitality, right, is you can never be clean enough. But out of all the families and people I talked to, like, oh, yeah, man, we love loves. We're excited to hear this. We want to hear from, you know, Jim. I, this is so exciting. Everybody was saying how you guys work so fervently to have a clean location at all of your locations and and i think that that's something that we again you shouldn't just assume uh you have done a tremendous job of again working tirelessly to deliver and exceed the expectations of travelers throughout north america and um like i said i just i really commend the work that you brett your team has been doing you continue to do it's just again a great way to honor your founder and um you know all i want to do is just wish you guys continued success and i'm going to be one of those many voices that say please keep investing and in getting more locations <laughs> because our rv community needs it they want it and uh you're delivering and exceeding everything that they need and want and i'm just uh, like i said really honored for you to take some time as i said in the intro with more than 700 locations in 42 states, I do believe they are just getting started. And it remains clear to me that Jim Wheeler is excellent at two important things, removing friction for consumers and always adding more value. On behalf of Heartland RV, Jim, thank you so much for taking some time. You are always welcome back when you have more exciting things to uh, share, but again, the RV uh, spots are opening. They're expanding into more locations throughout North America, everybody. There's more uh, features and uh, just, uh, you know, maybe next time he's on, he's going to talk about their opening shopping centers. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, you might see a Louis Vuitton at a location. Who knows? Um, but just honestly, Jim, thank you so much for taking some time. Really do appreciate it. And I know that uh, the RV community is very, very excited and, and proud with the work that you are doing. Well, great. And, and William, again, thank, thanks so much. It, it, it's great to share about this exciting new initiative. And, you know, we do have some more things out there we're working on specifically for the RV customer. Can't talk about them today. Uh, so I would love to come back. And so stay stay tuned. We're always uh, looking for ways that we can get better. And I think a couple of these are, are really fantastic kind of initiatives. So um, thanks so much. Thank you, Jim. I'm Will Miller, and I want to thank you for tuning in to the Launching Life's Journeys podcast brought to you by Heartland RVs. Stay tuned for our next destination.